Central Florida. He's up the ball as we get ready for the opening kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Makes it out to about the 39. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. First and 10, ball on the 39. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing that a couple on that run? Boy, he put so much heat on that ball. I don't think anybody wanted to get their hands on that. From their own 36-yard line, third down. Here we go. Why did he He gets out to about the 38-yard line. About two yards there on that delayed handoff. That brings us fourth and 11. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. The Knights' offense basically on what this kid can do. The thing I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks, but the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. We've got a first and 10, ball of the 29. It's caught, first down, and he's out of bounds. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. Check nine, check nine. Watch 36, 36 to make. And two. Easy, easy. Has some daylight. And they make the stop at the 48-yard line. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Go! Nice run there. They've obviously found a formula for moving the ball against this defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. 36 to Mike. Go! He's at the 30. Gains his way to the 23-yard line. Anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space, we could be talking about six. From the 23-yard line, first down. Four down, four down. Mike, 36. Red, two. Kill, kill, kill. Gunner, three. Caught out in the open. He's tackled at the 13. With the reception, number 17 makes the tackle at the 13-yard line. First down. Red two, yellow three, yellow three. He fights forward to about the 13. And this play is number eight on the drive. Goes incomplete, intended for his wideouts. It's third and 11. Ball on the 13. Mike, 
There's a strike complete. It's on a move. Touchdown. A tight end scored that time, and with authority. Brad, he's a physical football player, but he's also got the finesse to make a big impact in the passing game. He hits the PAT. A nine play, 85 yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down to the end zone for a touchback. The Knights are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Brought down at the 42. On their own 42 yard line. It's first down. And a quick throw. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. Seven yard line. I'm not even sure the ball carrier saw the corner coming for him. That happened so fast, he never had a chance to make a move. Third and five situation. Ball on their own 47. Three down, three down. Mike 41. You've got to wedge that, huh? Here we go. And down he goes around the 47 yard line. I thought there was a chance he'd be brought down before getting to the marker. It was a great effort there to get beyond for the first down. Decent run here, right side. Second and six. Ball on the 43. Mike 41, Mike 41. 50, 59, feel it. Huh? Looking for the corner. He's at the 20. And he's out of bounds at the 15. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their scheme. again makes it out to maybe the 13 yard line and this is the eighth play of the drive just throws this one away and so it's another third down upcoming here Makes the catch and look out, and he's tackled at the nine. Hang on, everybody, because it looks like they came ready to play today. 7 0, Knights. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Kicks up, and it's through the uprights. Number 
TCU is lining up to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Central Florida is up by four. Backer at the 25. Second down and seven. Ball on the 25-yard line. Hand off, and he's met immediately. To the senior. First down. From their own 33 yard line. First down. Makes a catch and he's got nowhere to go. Gain of 14 on the play. First down. From their own 47 yard line. First down. The defense had that one called perfectly. That's a big play on that ball. That makes it second and 14. They'll bring him down at about the 43 yard line. That brings up third and 14. Here's the eighth play of the series. Central Florida holds a four point lead. Around an eight-yard pickup on the slant route from the quarterback. That'll make it fourth and six. He doesn't want to touch back here. He wants to knock this ball inside the ten. And this one is a beauty. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the twenty. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's taken down at the 23-yard line. That's good for a game in three yards. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 23-yard line, second down. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. That'll bring up 34. Right, 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 right. Four down, four down. Watch 32, watch 32. Mike 41, Mike 41. Three, nine, Looks for his running back, incomplete. That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the secondary. Tackle.
Go. At the 40. The Knights right now are getting the play out of their quarterback that they expected, maybe even better than they expected. And now, as we get near halftime, there's going to have to be some adjustments made on the other side of the ball. Well, the defense has got to be happy we're getting close to halftime so they can go back to the drawing board and try to figure out a way to slow down this quarterback. Uh, I think that more often than not, you look back at the first half and you think about, okay, let's eliminate this, this, and this, and let's maybe try a completely different way of, of trying to attack them. In my opinion, they've got to take some chances and be more aggressive in trying to put pressure on it. What they've done so far hasn't worked. Central Florida is up four. Out of bounds at about the 49. Call it a game of seven yards. That'll bring up third and It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. 36, 36 to Dog four. He's going to come up short. Good tackle. I like the combination of speed and strength that this cornerback plays with. He's a real valuable part of the defense. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. And he's got to be happy with that punt, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, that was nice. So now they're looking at a long way to go to even think about a score. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Three down, three down. Mike 41. You got to wedge that, huh? And he's immediately tackled. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 35. He goes out of bounds at about the 45. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. Check curls, check curls, check curls. Mike 41, Mike 41. Ready. Black 98. Makes the grab out of bounds. From their own 49-yard line, it's first down. And they got it. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. He just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. now and they need to get it inside the 41. And he is drilled at the 40 yard line. TCU's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Kick this one off. X 
excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Central Florida with a one-point lead. Heading for the corner. He's to the 40. Makes it out to about the 49. We've still got a half of football remaining. The Knights lead it by one. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Ball security was a major theme coming into this game, and both offensive coordinators have to be thrilled with the fact that their offenses, first and foremost, did a good job of taking care of the ball. And you don't see it every game, that's for sure, that both teams don't have a turnover at the half, and you usually see those critical mistakes that set up a short field for you to take advantage of, and, and it's definitely nice. It's nice to be able to put in a plan all throughout the week and to be able to execute it and not to be able to make those big mistakes because coaches will tell you it's those big mistakes that kill you. It's okay to be rushed in the pocket as a quarterback and then throw it to your mom in the third row. Don't throw it in harm's way. Both quarterbacks done a good job, and as a result, both teams with zero turnovers in the first half. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk ready to roll. Very Number close nine. game now as we start the second half. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So we're just about ready to return to action. Second down at 12. Ball on the 23-yard line. Central Florida is up one. Black five, Quick throw. He's knocked out of bounds at the 41-yard line. Gain of 18 on the play. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 41. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Red two. Green eight. Motion, motion, motion. He gets rid of this one. Going deep, lays it out there. Caught. Touchdown, UCF. Excellent play here by the quarterback, making the proper reads and finding his playmaker for the score. It makes for an easy completion when you've got a guy who's that wide open. And he adds the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Knights staff has got a winner on their hands. You've been around kids like this. They're just fun to be around. They're fun to be around, and I think it's infectious. His attitude, I think, uh, permeates throughout this entire offense and really uh, throughout the entire team. It's, it's no wonder this team is so competitive with him at the, at the front leading the way. And he carries the ball for a nice game.
They're about four yards away here on second down. Second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. And he carried that one for a few yards. You know, when you have a guy that can grab five yards or so consistently, it sure takes some of the pressure off the passing game. The offense is going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set, and the defense counters with their dime look. The 39-yard line. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Four down, four down. 41's coming. 41's the mic. Green, 19. Hot, green. And down he goes. Right around the 44-yard line. I like how the defense got all up into that option to disrupt it. The offense looks a bit unsettled after losing that battle. the 42 yard line they're going to come up short here on this third down the defensive line did a great job of getting some penetration and the overall defensive effort was big there to set up this fourth down big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory oh excellent punt this punt bounces into the end zone and this will be a touchback I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. Right down after a nice run up the middle. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. Central Florida is up by eight. Throws complete. He's got room to work. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 38-yard line. From their own 38-yard line. It's second down. Red two. Red seven. Red seven. And he's tackled at about the 33-yard line. The 44 yard line. First down. Mike 36. Mike 36. Red 2. Yellow 2. And a brought down quickly. Stop your whining. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Red 2. Quick strike to the receiver. Tackle the 42 yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. Central Florida up by eight. It's 
fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit. It's up, and it's wide left. No good. Every time you have a chance to finish a drive with points, you've got to capitalize. That time, they couldn't come through. One quarter to go, and this looks like it could come down to the very end. 14-6, UCF. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. He's got an opening. Tackle made at the 48. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. It's first and 10. Ball on the 48-yard line. They'll bring him down at the 45. That's a game of three on the way. That'll make it second and seven. Four down, four down. Mike 41, Mike 41. Makes it out to about the 36. From the 35 yard line. Second down. Ready! He's taken down right around the 24 yard line. out to about the 21. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. From the 21-yard line, second down. Pretty good play here by the junior safety stepping up and making a good tackle on the ball carrier. Here's the eighth play of the series. Let's see what you got. 41's coming. 41 to Mike. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. It's first and goal, and they need a touchdown. Just under three to go in regulation. He's got an opening. Touchdown, TCU! What a spectacular run by the quarterback. That is such a weapon for your offense when you have a quarterback who can do things like that. The coach probably loves drawing up plays for this guy. Big, big conversion right here. Time is running out, and they need this one to tie it up. They don't get it. So a nine-play, 62-yard drive. But they just get six points after failing to convert for two. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. A score here might effectively end this one. Caught open field. He gets hit out of bounds at the 35. That's a gain of 10 on the play. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 35. Mike, 36. Dog, four. Green, nine. Motion, motion, Green, nine. Go! 
Throws it in a hurry. And he is drilled at the 49. What a heady move by this receiver. He ran his route, didn't get the football at first, saw that his quarterback was still alive, and broke off the route for a nice catch. The result, a first down. Gets out to around the 35. Huge first down right there by the offense, Brad. At this point, they're just trying to work the clock and preserve the victory. Just under two minutes in the game. He makes it to the 32-yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. And they hit him in the backfield. has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 23. Keep it on the ground with the tailback. Runs it left for a decent game. That's a gain of five on the play. We're at play number nine of this current drive. And the ball game's over. The Knights take this one, 14 to 12. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.